Hey guys, back with more FSD 13 today. This is FSD 13.2.2. Thought we'd try something a little different today. I am going to navigate to a supercharger. It's one I've never been to before. It's a brand new V4 here in Glenmont, New York, which is just on the south side of Albany. But what I'm going to try to make it do is pull into the charging stall by itself. I'm not going to initiate that. I'm thinking if we go ahead and navigate to it, we can make that happen all by itself. So let's go ahead. I'm currently here at the train station and we're going to back ourselves out of here by itself. And it is a little bit of a uh, roundabout type route to get there, which is nice. It'll be interesting to see how it handles all that does have a stop sign here mandatory full stop and let's see how this does and what I'm really interested in is uh, checking out the auto park by itself without initiating a separate park we, we all know it can handle um, you know picking a, a parking spot in a generic parking lot but I am navigating directly to a supercharger and so what i'm told it can do is go ahead and navigate its way into one of the stalls by itself it should pick an open stall so let's go ahead and see what happens here we're just going over top of amtrak the trains are below A little bit of a cold day here in upstate New York, although I guess it's cold in lots of parts of the country today. It's uh, 21 degrees if the car is accurate. That's probably pretty close if it isn't. And here we go. So this does involve getting out here onto I-787, but only for like two miles. I mean, the total trip here is only four point something miles. So uh, this is going to be a quick little trip over there. Like I say, I've never visited this uh, supercharger yet. It only opened up maybe, I don't know, four months ago, five months ago, something like that. And it's out of Stewart's. Shout out to Stewart's. They are opening a lot of new stores around here. They're on a tear as far as uh, remodeling or rebuilding virtually every store. Um, it's great. There are remarkably few of their stores that they have not touched recently. And several of them, what they've been doing is demolishing the existing uh, Stewart. So if you didn't know, by the way, Stewart's is a fairly large uh, regional set of convenience stores, gas stations in the upstate New York um, area. And they've got, I don't know, a couple hundred stores, I believe, maybe 250, something like that. Um, almost every town around here has at least one, if not two or three. And they stretch pretty far. Now there's a place where I wish FSD would recognize potholes and steer around them. That was a pretty good sized pothole right there. But, uh, and so along with the Stewart's remodels and demolitions where they sometimes on the exact same site, they will build up a totally brand new store on the site of an existing one you know, back behind it or in front of it, whatever they can fit. And then when that store, the new store is ready, they demolish the old store and that either becomes additional parking lot or sometimes they've even filled in additional gas pumps uh, in the old store location on the, on the lot. So, and along with those remodels, a lot of Stewart's stores around here have been getting superchargers. So kudos to them for really 
if you ask me, they're future proofing their business. They are going to have more and more EV uh, cars show up. And now they don't just have to rely on people with gas cars. And now Stewart's does not exactly have the kind of food options that say a quick check or a, or a sheets might have. Uh, I'm a big fan of sheets being from central Pennsylvania where sheets originated. Um, but, uh, so that they have a little better selection when it comes to, you can usually get subs and different kinds of sandwiches and, and things like that. But still Stewart's, you know, they're going to have a captive audience of EV people showing up to charge for a minimum of 10 minutes, usually sometimes as long as a half hour or whatever, depending on which vehicle and how long these people want to charge and that kind of thing. That's a captive audience to be able to sell them all kinds of stuff in your store. So kudos to Stewart's for thinking ahead and really positioning themselves to uh, be able to serve the EV public, not just ICE cars. So up here, there is an interesting little loop-de-loop -loop that we need to make. We're going to stay here on 9W. And up here, we're going to make a, a hard right and go around a loop. And this is actually a path that I don't take very often. I, I, I usually don't have to go down this way. Um, which is another reason that I have not visited this particular supercharger yet, even though it's been open for, I think, four months or so. And they are V4s, so we'll get to check them out. A little bit harder on the braking there than it needed to be. It could have started easing into that a little. There's an F-150. And he's using it like a truck. He's got the back full of stuff. He's got ladders hanging out and up over the side. Good for him. He's using the truck the way it's intended. It probably works out great as a uh, worksite truck. I hope he utilizes um, the, uh, you know, the power ports in the back. And he's using those for different things. All right, so we've made our hard right there. Now we're going to continue around. And up here we're going to up here we're going to make a right onto the uh, frontage road. And we're only a mile away now. It's navigating this uh, rush hour traffic here. A lot of folks get out of work here around 3, 3.30, and that's when it really starts to pick up with traffic. All righty. Let's see if we can get ourselves into a parking spot once it pulls in. It's going to be new to me exactly what the best way to pull into the uh, parking lot is going to be. So let's see if the car can figure it out before I do.
totally solid through here. Even with the glare, the low sun, you know, it's just about four o'clock. The sun's going to set in about 20 minutes, 30 minutes. There's the Stewart's. It asked me to touch the wheel for a second because I think because of the sun glare. Okay, I've never been here before. This is interesting. There's the stalls. Oh, it is pulling into the wrong spot. It thinks <laughs> that we are there. That is not what we're doing. All right, that's a big old fail. We're going to have to go ahead and get her over there. Fail, Tesla. You got to pull into the correct parking lot. This was a back parking lot for the hotel. Okay, let's... Now we'll give it the opportunity here on a last second. And let's see if it can pull in. Are we pulling in? Come on. Yep, you really kind of stalled there in front now. All right. Somebody's backing out and we're backing in. Hey, and with the lines being altered with the new construction here, it's still figured that out. Okay. I mean, I got to give it a uh I got to give you an F for the fact that you pulled into the initial wrong uh, parking space or parking lot, if the path that I was following would have come from over here, then it would have found it just fine. But it has to know that that is not where it should enter the parking lot. Now, it was going to sit there and turn around. What I don't know is, was it going to figure out that it had to come back around? So the fact that it couldn't do that uh you know that's an f but it came right over now it did stop right here actually it was in front of another car and why it paused there for a second i'm not sure but it eventually did choose a spot and uh, did a little three-point turn there and got itself in and why don't we check out the spot and make sure that the parking job was good all right let's go ahead and get ourselves situated and how did we do we've got ourselves pretty well parked yeah i mean way to go all right it parked just fine found the spot and we got ourselves eight v4 stalls that are looking good so that's how we do it and A for effort, F for navigation, but uh, I'd give it an A minus on the actual getting itself into the spot. Overall good, and we'll see you on the next one. Keep tripping. Bye-bye.